Dacia Dalep, Pastor Lawan Andimi, Fatima, the Auno 30, scores in Chibok, and many more whose names never made it to your ears and mine were killed in less than two months of 2020 alone by these daredevil terrorists, Boko Haram. An innocent child, Leah Sharibo, who refused to convert to Islam, a faithful aid worker, Grace Taku, over 100 Chibok schoolgirls and thousands whose names are not known to remain hostages in the custody of these terrorists. Boko Haram is taking control in the northeastern section of Nigeria where the police and army have effectively lost control. They have succeeded in imposing terror upon the people in the capital of Bono, Meiduguri and Damaturu in Yobe states and indeed the whole country. Now imagine, more than a decade later, an estimate of over 30,000 deaths have been recorded, minus innocent Nigerians who did not make the list, and Nigeria is well on its way to reward the Boko Haram insurgents. The Senate on Thursday started the process of establishing an agency that will fully reintegrate repentant Boko Haram terrorists into the Nigerian society. The bill is titled National Agency for the Education, Rehabilitation, Deradicalization and Integration of Repentant Insurgents in Nigeria and is sponsored by the former governor of Yobe State, Ibrahim Gaydam. I am completely against that idea. They know my position on that. You can't do that. It is after the war that when you win the war or when people surrender that you, 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 you think about that and you keep them somewhere. Well, uh, people are living in camps and then you are training people and you are giving them startup money. You are just saying that people should go and join Boko Haram, then come and repent and be something. The question is, are you honorable members or horrible members? Because the question as to whether you are honorable is determined by the service that you render to the people. A bill for amnesty for terrorists passing the first reading in the middle of an active battle against terrorism in the country is a joke that is not funny. In seeking amnesty for the insurgent, as the Northeast Development Commission that addresses post-insurgency issues in the region, including the rehabilitation or resettlement of victims of Boko Haram terrorist attack, not enough? While we try to understand the rationale in releasing 1,400 repentant Boko Haram members back into the society during daily attacks in the Northeast, why should our priority be the education, rehabilitation, de-radicalization and reintegration of repentant terrorists for God's sake? The lawmakers sit in time that your money and mine pay for amounts to waste because barely 24 hours after scores were killed in Chibok by Boko Haram, one lawmaker moves a bill to make the lives of the terrorists better when they daily destroy ours. The Christian Association of Nigeria has described this bill as troubling and suspicious, asking for the guarantee that the freed ex-terrorists would not return to Zambisa Forest and pick up their hands against innocent Nigerians.
The Bronx Agency, according to the legislation, will provide educational opportunities for the terrorists whose walking, talking mantra is non-Islamic and Western education is a sin. Have we forgotten that we just marked 730 days that a 16-year-old schoolgirl, Leah Sharibu, has been held as a slave by the same group and the over five years abduction of over 100 schoolgirls who were taken because they subscribed to Western education or are we just heartless? Even Ahmed Takilda, who is considered to have links with the terror group, warned that the so-called rehabilitation and release of Boko Haram members presumed to be repentant is the most ill-informed strategy and should be suspended indefinitely. Why are we looking away from the experience of the victims and focusing on the perpetrators of the violent acts to reintegrate into the society they victimized? What is the fate of the over 3 million displaced by Boko Haram? Whose hard end taxpayers' money will be used to fund this agency? What is this old Progressive Congress lawmaker thinking that he dared to put pen to paper and draft such a bill, more so at this time? Either way, while the Commander-in-Chief of Nigeria's armed forces and his army chief continue in the illusion that an end to Boko Haram is just days away, you and I can recall a representative that has decided to go AWOL and flip the script on us. Enough is enough.